world of tanks keeps changing, receiving new features. Now, we are ready to put a new iteration of changes to the test. During the common test of Update 112, you'll be able to try improved technical characteristics of certain premium vehicles, new interface improvements that will allow for more efficient gaming. Steel Hunter mode will be rebalanced and feature some long-awaited changes and a new way of getting World of Tanks Premium account and other in-game items. But first things first. This year, we'll rework more than 15 Tier 8 Premium vehicles that have become far less efficient over time. Some players still remember them and would like them to become relevant again. It's high time we gave them the second birth. Many vehicles will receive complex improvements which will affect their key technical characteristics. These changes will be added to the game step by step. Here's the first batch of changes scheduled for the upcoming update. The STG will get improved stabilization, fire rate and engine power. These changes will help it be more efficient in the second line of combat and even at the forefront. The T-34-3 will receive improved dispersion and aiming time, while its durability will be increased by 100 points. Now, this buddy will be able to unleash its damage potential easier, and enemies will be much more afraid of its gun. The STA-2 will now spot enemy vehicles more effectively, aim faster and fire more accurately. It will become an efficient support vehicle. The Super Pershing's stabilization, mobility and turret traverse speed will be significantly improved. Now, this American medium can react more swiftly to changes on the battlefield and it will be more effective in close combat. These vehicles will retain their gameplay and battle roles, but now it will be easier for them to play their roles. Basically, in Update 112, gameplay will be improved for all players, regardless of the vehicles they drive, thanks to interface improvements. With this update, we'll introduce some of the best user modifications to the game. In random, ranked, and grand battles, players will be able to view the total hit points of the teams. This feature is useful when the standard count of destroyed vehicles is not enough to assess the situation properly. This function is essential for understanding the balance of power on the battlefield. We'll also introduce a spotted icon to the right panel where enemy vehicles are displayed. Players will be able to check which of the enemy vehicles have already been spotted. Together with the minimap, this function will help players predict enemy positions more accurately. You'll be able to view the result of your previous battle while playing the next battle. The battle results will pop up just as the battle ends. And here's a feature that will aid accurate and fast shooting. We've added the option to set the default aiming magnification. Now, upon pressing the corresponding key, you'll enter sniper mode with the magnification you set. All these changes will help you keep track of the combat situation and navigate the battlefield. But there's a mode where enemy locations and statuses are always unknown. A mode where you can rely only on your own skills. The new season of Steel Hunter begins with Update 112. All vehicles for this mode will be reworked. We'll change their hit points, penetration rates, and much more. We'll also introduce some additional internal modules to ensure more diverse combat situations. After we've introduced all the balance changes, vehicles will start performing their roles better. Each vehicle has its own personality, but it does not mean that any of the vehicles are inferior to others. This will allow you to pick vehicles based on your playstyle instead of efficiency. Additionally, some nice features will be introduced to the mode. Replays will be added to Steel Hunter. 
Battle replays will allow players to watch the most intense moments of their battles, share them with friends, or even send them to the RNG show. Replays are stored in the game main folder. You can also watch a battle in spectator mode. Once your vehicle is destroyed, you can keep spectating the battle from the point of view of the player who destroyed you, and then as the player who destroyed them. When playing in a platoon, you'll spectate your platoon mates while at least one of them is still intact. Whatever happens, you'll be able to spectate the battle until it ends. And finally, in the new Steel Hunter mode, you'll be able to complete stages of Battle Pass. Now, you don't need to play in specific modes to progress through Battle Pass. All modes are available instead. This will help you complete Battle Pass stages more easily, just like the next feature. Blueprints are very useful for researching new vehicles. However, if you already have plenty in stock, consider making use of them right now. You'll be able to exchange blueprints for various in-game items for a certain period of time. Training manuals, customization elements, crew members, and Days of World of Tanks premium account. We're introducing this feature in the test mode. If you enjoy it, we'll add it in the future. Join the update test, try out the balance and interface improvements, and share your feedback. Let's make World of Tanks better together. Good luck on the battlefield.